God convicts with love. Satan condemns with hate. Conviction is a blessing from God. Conviction is what led David to being remorseful over his sin when he committed adultery and murder. Now, David had the free will decision. He could have done anything and everything. He could have said, no, God, I deserve to do that. Or, no, I, I, I had every right to do it. It wasn't my fault that she was taking a bath when I went out and just looked at upon the city. He could have made every excuse under the book. And, and we know that man will go to any lengths to excuse sin. But conviction, when that sets in, we have the ability to say, God, thank you for this conviction. I know I'm in the wrong. I know you're convicting me out of love because you are leading me away from that which is damaging and destructive, and you are leading me towards that which is righteous and where I can be sanctified and once again follow in the path of your will. And when we believe Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins, we become born again. And we have the Spirit of God within us who will convict us. Things that we were never convicted of before be coming to know Christ, when we do come to know Christ, we will be convicted of things that once used to not bother us. And this is a blessing because God convicts uh, others with love. But Satan is the one who condemns us with hate. It is conviction that leads us to the cross. Conviction says, God, I'm in the wrong. Please forgive me. Give me the strength to move forward and the power of the Holy Spirit. And God will do that. So it is conviction that leads us to the cross, but it is shame that keeps us away from the cross. And shame comes when we listen to the voice of the enemy because Satan condemns with hate. Satan doesn't want anyone to know God. Satan does wants nothing to do with those who are made in God's image, and he especially wants to destroy the intimate connection and bond that can be formed between those made in the image of God and God alone. And so, especially when we're Christians, uh, Satan is always going to condemn with hate. He hates us. And so he's going to bring forth shame and guilt. He's going to say, you call yourself a Christian? How in the world could you have done that? How could you call yourself a Christian when you went into this, when you thought these things about this person, when you gossip behind their back, when you became angry and blew up against your spouse? You call your, yourself a Christian? Really? And this is the voice of the enemy. God never convicts in, with that uh, voice. He always convicts lovingly. And God will always convict us and say, listen, this is not the way. Come back to me. Come back to all that I have for you. I am willing and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Just confess your sins, repent of them, and be willing to seek me. And there is such blessing and beauty in that, that God is willing to convict us with love. But Satan is going to condemn us with hate because he wants nothing to do with us. He wants to hinder us on all degrees, especially on a spiritual basis. Even when we're Christians, he's going to do anything and everything for us not to seek the kingdom of God first, to keep us from growing towards God, to keep us from seeking God even to repent and ask for forgiveness. He's going to place a cloud over our head that is gloom and doom that says, you can't go back to God, that you've, you've gone back to God a hundred times for this thing, and you think that he's going to forgive you this time? My friends, that is the voice of the enemy, and we need to be alert on that, and immediately when that voice comes, we need to say, no, this is not from you, God. I renounce and rebuke uh, you, uh, the enemy, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I renounce this. I renounce what you're saying to me. I believe the word of God. I know that God is a God of grace and love. He is merciful, and he is willing to forgive me, because we know from Romans uh, 8.1, I believe, that there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are found in Christ Jesus. And may we continue to walk in that truth when we are born again, knowing that there is no condemnation for us who are found in Christ Jesus. And when we are in the wrong and sin and do evil, God will convict us because God is a God of love and he always convicts in love.